Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new XLOOKUP function to replace several um, VLOOKUPs. So in my example I have a drop down list that then has four region names in. As I pick a different region it updates the figures in the quarter columns and also updates the graph. So the way that I created that was to use a VLOOKUP that finds the value in column A. It then goes and looks at this figures worksheet, which I'll show you here, which has the region names in and also has the quarter figures. It then returns me for the quarter one, column two, and I've set it so that it won't give me an answer if it doesn't find the exact region name. And then all I've done for quarter two is set that to column three, quarter three for four, and quarter five, uh, four for five. So not too bad for me because I've only got four cells to fill in, but if you had quite a lot of cells that you wanted to fill in, say you were pulling back 20 um, columns worth of information, it gets a bit tedious putting numbers in or maybe putting numbers in the cells above so you can reference those or even using the column function um, that I've shown in other videos. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to use the XLOOKUP to replace all four of those formulas just with one. So this is the, the one that I've just shown you minus the data. So I'm going to start by doing equals XL and you'll see because I'm on the latest version of Excel I now have the XLOOKUP function. So I'll put the rest of that in. Now I'm going to press the FX button so that I get the function argument box. So the lookup value is just the same as what you did for the VLOOKUP. It's the cell in this case that contains northeast. Now the lookup array, this is a bit more like uh, using match rather than VLOOKUP. This is only interested in finding the word that you, in this case, that we've asked it to find. So I'm going to highlight just the, the cells that have got the region names in. Now if I click into the return array, this is where it gets really good. Because now what we can do is we can go to the figures worksheet and we can now highlight all of the cells that I want it to return. So I want it to return the values for the four quarters. Now with VLOOKUP, if it doesn't find an exact match, it, it puts NA in the cell. What we can do is, we can actually put something more tangible, more human for us in there. I'm just going to put zero in. So if it doesn't find it, it's just going to put zeros in the cells. Now if I press OK at this point, you'll see that it's actually filled in all four cells with answers. You'll see the first one has the VLOOKUP in, and then the second, third, and fourth one have that in, but notice how it's greyed out, so it's almost an array-like functionality that you've got there. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, if you'd like to comment in the, the bit below as to any other videos you'd like to see me do on other functions, uh, just let me know. Thank you for watching.